obviously do not care about any other part of the world. Oh. This is the best country. This is the only place I'm worried about. Y uh, yeah, but you yeah. haven't gone to Australia, have you? No. Oh. Why do I need to? I'm in America. Because it's the highest living standard in the world. It's America oh, times so 10. Is it? Yeah. Oh hey cuties and welcome back to my channel for another video. So in my video about the deplorable choir, I mentioned in it the idea of like toxic patriotism in America and someone commented and was like, it's considered nationalism. And I was like, oh my God, yes, that was the word I was looking for, nationalism. So the definition of nationalism is identification with one's own nation and support for its interest, especially to the exclusion or detriment of the interests of other nations. So basically it's like, Nationalism is like the support of your nation to an extent that like you you don't care about what's going on surrounding your nation So you don't care about the problems in the Middle East. You don't care about Australia burning to the ground, you know, you only care about your country and its citizens and Beyond that you don't really give a shit, you know, you're very like Patriotic and also to a point where it's extreme which is nationalist. So this video we're gonna watch of Caitlin Bennett's is like nationalism to the freaking extreme like i am disgusted guys like i am so sick to my stomach watching this i can't even believe it because i had watched this video a little bit ago and i commented replying to a caitlin bennett fan and was like she literally says that she doesn't care about any other country and they were like can you send me the video where she says that because i don't believe you Here's the video, folks. I found it. <laughs> I found it. So this video is called Caitlin Bennett versus Australian Lefty. And I just want to say I have a personal love for like Australians. I don't know what it is, but I think it's because I grew up watching H2O just add water. <laughs> I also have an obsession with mermaids. I became so obsessed with Australia to a point where like I was like planning on moving there. In my soul, I was like my future husband or wife is in Australia. Like I just know that the Australian accent is what I want to wake up to listening to every day. Like I'm in love with Australians. <laughs> so watching this, I was kind of like, yeah, like I want to see those Australians rock her. And they kind of did. High key Jim Jeffries is like my favorite, if not like one of my favorite comedians. Love Jim Jeffries. Jim Jeffries especially was part of the reason where I became such a strong anti-gun advocate. I'll link Jim Jeffries comedy special where he talks about um, gun control and stuff, so I'll link that down below. I really suggest watching it. Freaking love Jim Jeffries and that gun control little spiel he did in this comedy uh, special on Netflix. So we're gonna get into this video. Where are you guys from? Australia. Australia. Nice, okay. Now make America great again. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't throw him out. Don't throw him out. Okay. You're more prosperous today than what you were yesterday. With that, what do you guys think? It's funny that Caitlin doesn't realize that um, Australian humor is very much like this, where it's very sarcastic. And like, I really don't think she realized how sarcastic he was being there. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, keep trumping office. Yeah, you mean you were more prosperous today than you were yesterday? And she's like, yes, I agree with that. Like, she's so dense, she doesn't even realize that he was being so sarcastic there. I've got a question for you. Can you tell me what the Australian Prime Minister is? Nope. <laughs> because you know what? As an American, I honestly do not care about any other part of the world. Oh. This is... You can see everyone's face just go, oh. Then they just kind of realize they're talking to a freaking nutball right now. They're like, oh, so you're... So you're crazy. So you're, so you're nuts. Okay, like, so we're gonna go. We're actually late for something. As an American, I honestly do not care about any other part of the world. Oh. This is the best country. This is the only place I'm worried about. Yeah, uh, yeah but you yeah. haven't gone to Australia, have you? No. Oh. Why do I need to? I'm in America. Because it's the highest living standard in the world. It's America <laughs> times 10. Is it? Yeah. Oh my mm. She just said that America is the best country and it's the only place she's worried about. She does not care about any other country but America. She doesn't care about anything else that's going on except for what's happening in America. That is disgusting. That is disgusting and I'm gonna call you out on that right now. I don't know why I'm actually like about to cry right now. Like I'm actually on the verge of freaking tears. I don't know why I'm so emotional today. <laughs> oh, okay, no. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with me? Ring it in, Christina. Ring it in. Okay. 
so to me I'm such an empath to a, a point where like I care so much about other people to the point where it like affects me and my daily life which is like you know there's sociopaths and there's like empaths and it's like I'm on the complete other spectrum where it's like I care way too much to a point where like I should probably like chill a bit but I care so much about like what's going on in other countries and like to me it's like why am I crying <laughs> It's currently 1.31 a.m. and I'm like in my basement crying right now. I think every human being is important. I think every human being is worth equal value. I think every human being is intrinsically valuable and inherently important. And whether you're from Canada, whether you're from America, whether you're from Australia, it doesn't matter to me. What matters is people. And to only care about your country is so ignorant and disgusting. It's important to care about your country and the people in your country because again those people are part of the human race and you want your country to thrive and do well for its people. I understand that but to, to boldly state that you don't care about anything that's going on outside of your country is disgusting. That's despicable. There's injustices happening all over the world. You know, I think about those things every day because I care. I just, I, I can't even fathom not caring about other people, other human beings with intrinsic worth and value. Those are lives. Those are people who deserve happiness just like anyone else in this world. And just because they don't have the label American doesn't mean that they don't deserve the same rights and happiness and liberty as every other human being on this planet. Like, t to me, and I've, uh, I've seen a few tweets from her Twitter, I'm pretty sure she's very religious. And to see a religious person speak about not caring about other human beings, when Jesus specifically taught us to care for our neighbor, to love our neighbor, no matter what. And if our neighbor means our neighboring country, so be it. We need to care for all human beings. We're all a part of the human race, you know? And if, and if you believe in God, I don't, I'm an atheist, but if you believe in God, I really expect more from you. If you believe in his teachings, if you believe in Jesus Christ, I really expect more from you. Because if you really think that following those teachings are gonna send you to heaven, this isn't sending you to heaven, girl. You not caring about a single soul outside of your own country? Like, I, I can't even believe it. I'm, I'm disgusted. Uh, yeah, but you yeah. haven't gone to Australia, have you? No. Oh. Why do I need to? I'm in America. I bet you if Caitlyn Bennett went to any other country, they would like kick her out, to be honest. Like, why would I need to go to the country I'm in America? Honestly, Caitlyn, because America, like, what do you guys really have there? I don't think one of the seven world wonders are in America. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure none of them are in America. So if you, Caitlyn, if you want to stay in America for the rest of your life and never travel, you know, you don't need to come to our countries because clearly you're the best and you've seen it all and you've done it all and you don't need to come to our countries, okay? That's cool. If you do come to our country, we'll welcome you with open arms because we're kind people. But, but to really sit there and think that like, why would I go to Australia? I live in America. Girl! Girl! Australia is so beautiful, okay? Like... What? Uh, you guys have the right to bear arms there? Yeah. Sorry? You guys have the right to bear arms yeah. there? She's asking this question like, to make a nation great, you need the right to bear arms, right? Like you need to have open guns everywhere. Like that's what makes a nation great. But clearly it doesn't. Like we're allowed guns in Canada. There's guns in Canada. Like it's, it's not like, <laughs> you know? And there's guns in Australia too. It's just that they have strict gun control. That's the difference. Yep. Yeah. Under license. So it doesn't fall into the hands of nutcases and you have all of these high school Oh, so you have gun control? Yes. <laughs> That's terrible. I don't want to live there. He literally just said, we have gun control so that guns don't fall into the hands of nutcases. And he was just saying people don't go to high school, high schools and have these mass shootings and, and children are dying. You know, Sandy Hook, Parkland, like all of these mass shootings where, you know, innocent children died. And she's saying... No, uh, she's saying, ew, like we don't want that. We don't want gun control. We're fine with our guns falling into hands of criminals and you know, people who are gonna go shoot up a, a, an elementary school and kill six year olds. Caitlin, is, is that what you think? You don't want gun control, huh? You don't want any gun control. You wanna have all the guns you want. You want the 
powerful machine guns, you want semi-automatics, you want handguns, you, you want your AR-10, you want an AK-47, like what else do you want? You want to be riding down the street in a fucking tank, too? Is that what you want? Damn, girl, like seriously. Do you not see the safety problems in this? Y'all need gun control, like, desperately. Like, I'm not trying to take away your guns, guys, but, like, at least have some stricter gun laws. Like, it's getting a little wild. We don't have guns like Americans. You we guys have guns. Yeah, yeah, we go. do, but we're they're controlled. Is that good? Yeah, absolutely it is. Why, why does my right to self-defense need to be controlled? Because we don't have nutcases. Why does my right to self-defense need to be controlled? Do you realize that a gun is used most of the time to really severely injure or kill someone? There are other forms of self-defense that are just as effective and it's shown that guns, most of the time with a gun, you'll end up hurting yourself more than the other person. There's other forms. I have a switchblade. You know, I own a switchblade, right? Like I'm not against self-defense by any means you know I think it should be legal for women to have means of protection like switchblades mace a taser there are safer ways to go about self-defense but again when everyone in your country has a gun you feel like you need to get a gun to protect yourself from other guns and that's what creates the problem that you feel you need a gun versus a gun you know what I mean if no one was allowed guns you wouldn't have the problem and yes there are people who break laws yes there are there's that anomaly of criminals who will you know go to the black market and get guns and stuff but it'll be so much safer if the guns were gone. I get it's hard because in America there's so many guns already and like when you make those strict gun laws it's kind of like well what do we do with all the guns that are already here? I understand it's not as simple as maybe anti-gun people make it to be but I think there's a solution to this. Kids don't need to be dying at six years old from a mass shooting. You know there needs to be stricter gun laws just because you're not you know, mentally ill or unstable or, you know, in, in a bad place where you feel the need to use a gun for evil, just because you're not there doesn't mean there isn't other people who are. And when guns fall into the hands of those people, especially when assault weapons like AK-47s, you know, machine gun, like assault weapons that have, you know, bullets that fire out like crazy. When you have weapons like that fall into the hands of people who aren't stable. And that's not to say anything about mentally ill people. Mentally ill people get a bad rep for being dangerous. It's, it's a small amount, right? But when guns fall in the hands of those people, that's when this shit happens. And that's why you need gun control. You should not be allowed to have those big, big guns. I just, I, I genuinely think it's a safety concern that you think anyone should just be allowed to get a gun. They should be allowed to do whatever they want with it. They should be allowed whatever gun they want. It's just, that to me is overkill. Literally. Not cases. Am I a nut case? No, but there's others out there that are. So why, why do I have to have a license to protect myself against a nut case? Because in, in case it falls into the hands of wrong people. How does a law prevent that? Because we go through a very strict screening process. Why is that right? It's my right to self-defense. It's my property. Absolutely. Why is it correct for the government to have their hands in my self-defense? No, it's, it's, it's not a right. It's, it's a security so that innocent people... It is a right. The right to self-defense. Everybody has it. See, your constitution might not have it written in there, but it's your right, even if you're in Australia, to defend yourself with whatever weapon you seem necessary. Yes, it is everybody's right to self-defense. You are allowed to defend yourself if somebody is attacking you. Does that mean you're allowed to shoot someone? Uh, to me, it's like, that's such a foreign concept. <sighs> if someone's coming at you with a gun, understandable, but like... Here in Canada, when is someone ever coming at you with a gun, right? Because we have very strict gun control where you're only allowed to use it for recreational use and for hunting and et cetera, et cetera. You know, you have to go through a very strict screening process in Australia to be able to obtain a gun because they don't want people who have a history of violence and all these other aspects to be able to obtain a gun because that's when it becomes very dangerous. So let me answer this question. Are you happy for innocent people to be killed? No, that's not what I said. That's not no, what the Second Amendment no, says. That's, that's not what my right to self-defense. The evidence. The Are you happy? The do you like nice do you like up. innocent people to defend themselves around me? So he asked her a question. Are you happy? I think this is I think this is what he said. Are you happy or okay with innocent people being killed? He asked her a simple question. She didn't even answer. That's not what I said. That's not what the Second Amendment says. Okay, no, no, no I'm asking you. Are you okay with innocent people getting killed? It's a yes or no question, Caitlin. If you want to have this discussion, have the discussion. Don't get all defensive suddenly. Oh, that's not what the Second Amendment... Blah, 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 because that's not what the Second Amendment says. But 
Let's look at the at the use of guns, right? Not all of the use of guns is for self-defense. I would argue that a lot of it's not even for self-defense. I, I don't know the exact statistics, so don't crucify me for it. But, you know, I think innocent people do die from guns a lot of the time. Do I think guns save people? Yes, obviously. But I think there's that that part that's saying like, well, there's innocent people that are dying too. There's six-year-olds that are being murdered. There are kids in high schools that are scared to go to school. You know, we need to be judging this and evaluating this as a part of these laws because clearly there is a problem that needs to be solved. About victims, do you think they should have guns to protect themselves? No, well, uh, there's laws for that as well, as there is for gun control. We're gonna go, we're gonna concert. Great catch you. Hey, don't ever become citizens, guys. We don't need you here. Okay, like, the <sighs> he was so kind and so sweet. He explained his points very well. And he was like, you know, great catching up, like, have a good night. And she yelled back at them, don't ever become citizens because we don't need you here. I and this, this is your queen, guys. This is the girl that you, Caitlyn, stands, stand behind. Really. Someone who openly just yelled at people don't become citizens here because we don't need you. Because you have different beliefs than ours. Imagine thinking that people with different beliefs than yours don't deserve to be in your country. Imagine thinking that diversity is a cancerous thing. The only thing that I see that is cancerous, Caitlin, is your mindset. That's the only thing I see the problem with in your videos. Even in my video of her getting owned by the two college kids, I don't agree with communism. I think people got the wrong idea from that video and thought that I was agreeing with their stance on communism. I do not agree with communism. I think it's a nice idea in theory. In practice, I think it's horrible. It's very poorly executed. I think those people, those two college students that were arguing with her were very intelligent very respectful, and although I don't agree with communism, I would be able to have a conversation with them and see eye to eye with them. You know what I mean? I would never treat them disrespectfully. I would never say, oh, you're a communist? Don't come into my country. No, no, we don't want you and your beliefs in my country. We don't need you here. Don't get a citizenship. That's disgusting. That's really disgusting and disrespectful and absolutely despicable. Like, I'm, wow. Like, I can't believe she said that. And he was so kind. He was like, nice catching up. Like, gotta go to a concert. So this is a good example of how people like to come over to this country and then try to tell us that, oh, I'm going to come and visit America. I love seeing everything here, that capitalism and that America policies have put in place. Look at this place all around you. It's capitalism everywhere. And then they want to tell you that the best place to live is Australia or some other different country. And this I love how she's saying that people come here and they just want to tell you that your country's wrong. Caitlin, no, you... You asked them to talk about it. Like, no one came, no one's coming to America to tell you that you're wrong. No one's visiting America to tell you that their country's better. I'm sure you would love to do that in other countries, but these people weren't, these people didn't specifically come to America to tell you that their country was better. They already know that, they don't need to convince you. Like, what? And the funniest thing to me is that she thinks everyone's trying to come into America and see all these amazing things. Do you know how many Americans visit Canada every year? Do you know how many Americans visit Australia? Do you know how many Americans visit Europe every year? It's like people aren't just coming into your country and visiting. They're going to every country. It's called traveling, girl. Like, what are you talking about? And the funniest thing is you want to know a trick that Americans use when they travel? A lot of Americans actually put a Canadian flag in their backpacks or their suitcases or travel sacks or whatever. Because when you go to a different country and they hear your accent, they'll ask where you're from. And if you say America or they see, you know, American flags or, or they think you're American, they'll treat you poorly. People from other countries, you know, shittily enough, don't really respect Americans for a lot of the stuff that they've done. And for a lot of this, because this is what the outside perspective gets of Americans. This is what we end up seeing, is the people that speak the loudest, which I know do not represent all Americans, but it's the people who are nationalists to with toxic patriotism and racism and all that stuff. That's the stuff we see, right? Because it's thrown in our faces by the news. So America gets a really bad rep. So when you travel to other places, a lot of them will say that they're Canadian or they'll wear Canadian flags so they people will just assume they're Canadian. Which I find very funny, like, she's so proud to be an American, but most Americans are pretty embarrassed to be Americans, actually. You know, when you go to other countries and 
and you have to pretend to be Canadian in order to get respect, clearly there's a, a you know a few people at least who are very embarrassed about your country. So it's it's funny to me that she's acting like oh people love to come to our country and talk about how much better their country is, but like look at all of them here. Of course our country's the best. Like girl, let's no. This is a problem with immigration. I'm going on a tangent here. This is a problem with immigration. People <laughs> who want to come into this country. Did you? <laughs> Did you see that man in the background? He was like, the fuck? What is going on here? What is she talking about? He was like, guys, don't, no, don't associate, don't associate. Illegally, even legally, if you look at demographics and if you look at immigration and where they're coming from, they come and they vote Democrat to take away your rights that are here in America in the first place. I don't know, maybe something to think about with immigration. Wow. She said, if you look at demographics, immigrants are coming in and voting Democrat. So you're just scared that immigrants are gonna come in and vote your people out of office. That's that's basically what you're saying. I see you, Caitlin. I see you. Hating the immigrants for all the wrong reasons. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below because you know I appreciate that so much. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.